made it happen. It took two years, and I want to thank the students in this great inquiry class for Tums and Tars and Tigers for everything they did to make it happen. And then, but there's more. This was a great gamble. You know, um, what if, if we had to pick a date? You can't invite people without a date. You have to get facilities, you have to get funding. We didn't know what the university was going to do. They wouldn't tell us when the spring football game was until after we picked that date. And then the rooms are $300 a night, you know. And, um, so it was, at some point, we just had to leap like that monkey flying through the air. And um, we hoped that we could get the right speakers. You know, these are not, these are busy people. These are accomplished senior people. That's why we want them here. But they also tend to be busy. And, and booked out, you know, a year in advance. So could we get the, the speakers? Could would the students come? You know, we're talking to all these schools, sometimes they don't talk back. Sometimes they talk back and then they clam up. You know, there are groups that are really excited to come, but as it got closer and closer, and they started thinking about the exams coming up, the time the term papers, the finances involved, they just couldn't make it. Um, and, but we had a great crowd. And then the final thing is, well, what if they, what if we get the speakers, we get the facilities, we get the students here, and they sit there and say, you know, well, this is cool, another lecture, you know, you know, what's going on downtown, or you know, I got stuff to do. What if they don't buy it? And so until Friday night, I didn't know how it was going to happen. But Friday night, when the various student groups got up one after another. Actually, I knew before this because earlier in the week I went to the LSU website <laughs> and, and I saw, you know, this great this website, this beautiful website for the LSU Tigers for Tigers. And over there on the right was this National Tiger for Tiger Coalition. And it, and it didn't just have a link to it, they had their own web page. And they, you know, they said, we're doing this, and that's exactly what we want. Um, so Friday night, after, you know, the opening speeches and all, the uh, students got up one by one, the various groups, and they said, here's who we are, this is what this is what we're interested in, this is what we're doing. And I could see right then that there was total buy-in, that you guys saw this as your organization. Every one of you is committed to this. So it's not that there's this Clemson thing and we invited you here and we're going to blather at you for a while and you're going to go home and forget about it. This is you guys now. This is your organization. And I can't thank the speakers enough. I think they were a perfect selection. And we can clap ourselves, pat ourselves on the back for that. But this is exactly you know, the kinds of things we need to hear about. The failure of tigers in the wild. What can we do, especially now, especially domestically? <coughs> How can we get organized for the future? Those are the things we need to hear about. We have the right people. Um, you guys were great. You're fully engaged. Uh, no one left early. Everyone got up early. And uh, it was perfect. And so you now have this national organization. It's yours. Um, I would encourage you to use your advisors. Your advisors are the institutional memory. So I know Takako, you know, from when she was a freshman. And, and I've kept in touch with her throughout the years. And a lot of times people don't know who Takako is. Well, now they do, of course. But I can remind people of what, how Tigers for Tigers started, what its goal was, and how it's grown, and who the various players are. And your advisors can do that same role uh, at your school. I would encourage you to use these uh, various experts. I mean, they, they are here for a reason, and they support you 100%. You may want to have some kind of advisory board. Invite them uh, formally on your letterhead. Say, would you do this, and we won't pay you anything. But you'll feel good about it, and then we can access you, you know, we can ask you questions, and, and so on. And, um, <clears throat> I would, uh, but, but it's really you now. I don't have a voice in this anymore. I'm not, I mean, we may decide to keep up this class going in a support role, but this is not something that comes out of Clemson where the updates to the website will come out of Clemson and you guys will find out about it or we'll ask about it. It has to be you now. We're cutting the cord. Um, you're on your own. And, and you don't have to listen to any of us uh, if you don't want to. The two last things, and so I, I really encourage you to go back and get fired up. Write press releases, for the, you know, post these photos. We're going to have stuff, we're going to write up stuff that you guys can do as well. Share it with each other. Share these photos, share the videos. I think Pete's going to put these on, on, um, <clears throat> on 
online. You can see these. He's also working on a film. It's going to be awesome, and you're going to be stars of it. Um, but make a lot of noise, and you'll get backers. You'll get people to join. You get alumni. I get student government. Someone to support you. We need someone to step forward to host the next one in the next spring, maybe. Um, that's up to you. Or maybe you want to have mid-year meetings. Maybe you want to have informal meetings. All of that's on you. Um, there, there are three last things I want to say. First, we have to thank Louis Breger. He's been part of this hmm. year. An enormous resource. He's very knowledgeable about all about anything and tigers and birds and things. Um, hey, it's good whiskey at his house. Also, you know, organizing things. He's a director of international student programs. So he's a, he's a, World travel, and he really helped you know, a lot put this together. Um, the second thing is, I want to I want to single out Sean Carnell, and you know he's been the president of Tigers for Tigers, and he hasn't slept in the last month. I think putting this together. I know he's been in touch with every one of you and many other student organizations around um, the country that are interested in Tigers. I want to thank Sean. <laughs> So as you consider how you're going to structure this organization, you're going to come up with a charter, maybe you'll look for tax exempt status, maybe you'll find it piggybacked on some existing NGO or something. Um, the question is how will this go forward? And I, this is me uh, just talking. I would like to suggest that you look for a, a national coordinator, a student who could sort of carry this on day to day, communicate with everyone, and who will then go away as, as this organization. We don't want this to be owned by any school or any one person. It's, you know, it's going to fail if that happens. And so uh, I've talked to IFAW and some other groups, and they're potentially interested in supporting this. And the idea would be, it wouldn't be a Clemson anymore. It would be somewhere else. You'd have someone who could coordinate all these student groups, double the number of clubs, by next year, help organize next year's organization, and um, and ideally that would be uh, you know nestled within an existing NGO that can serve as an incubator where they have the marketing, the PR, and the financial people, legal people, and so on to help the budding young new NGO student NGO <coughs> get on the ground. So I want you to think about that whether you'd like to have someone like that, and I would nominate Sean Carnell <laughs> if if you feel so inclined, but just, I don't know if you want to formal, <clears throat> formally consider that or think about that over the next few weeks, but um, personally I think it would be good to have someone full time who can devote to this to help you get off the ground, someone that you know and trust. And there may be other people here as well who'd be interested in that position, especially if you're graduating or something over the next year. But that's just my, uh, my pitch. And I guess after this, I'm just an advisor if you wish. Um, and I applaud you all for your enthusiasm and evidence. To me, it's been a great success. It's been an enormous uncertainty now, a great success. So thank you all. Congratulations. Um, Clemson Tigers for Tigers would just really like to recognize Dr. Tonkin for being the best advisor <laughs> and just putting in the hour, endless hours of effort. Bye. It's probably an embarrassing photo. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Beautiful car. Thank you. <laughs>